Chrome OS 129 is here, and I'll show you the latest features on your Chromebook and everything else worth knowing about Chrome OS. Let's start with a completely new feature. Since Chrome OS 129, you can launch the new Quick Insert menu by pressing the Launcher key and F. This allows you, for example, to quickly and easily create Google Documents, open your browser history, or use the new AI function, Formulate for Me, in text documents on your Chromebook Plus. This can save you a lot lot of time by allowing you to pre-formulate standard texts, such as notices of termination from utilities or insurance companies, for example, and then optimize them afterwards. The quick insert menu and quick access to these functions will be a new central component of Chrome OS so that new Chromebooks in the future, such as the Samsung Chromebook Plus announced for 2025, will have a dedicated button for this. In addition, there will be a new Google button between CTRL and ALT, which will replace the previous launcher button with the filled circle. You have probably also noticed the concentration mode, which you can access via the quick settings. If like me, for example, you have to work on your Chromebook for a certain period of time to create this video, you can set a timer for a fixed time in which you can define and work through tasks that you have set for yourself. To help you, you can play relaxing sounds and, of course, activate the Do Not Disturb mode so that you won't be distracted by any push notifications. You've probably already noticed the new welcome screen, which replaces the normally empty desktop and gives you the option of restoring Windows and apps from your last session, so you can pick up where you left off. You'll also see upcoming events from your Google Calendar, file suggestions from your Google Drive, and lots of other info in the future. If you don't want this welcome screen, you can easily disable it. Google Gemini is now available directly as an app on every device, which is convenient for all users of a normal Chromebook, I not a Chromebook Plus. This means that users of a normal Chromebook no longer have to go through the browser. Don't forget that Google is currently still offering a very good deal in which you get 12 months of Gemini Advanced and 2TB of cloud storage for free when you buy a Chromebook Plus. So if you've just bought a new Chromebook Plus, be sure to take advantage of this. I already showed you how to use Microsoft Office on your Chromebook some time ago. Now, however, you can also integrate your own drive cloud from Microsoft directly into your Chromebook in just a few seconds. To do this, go to the System Settings in the Settings and find Own Drive in the Files section. Now all you have to do is log in with your Microsoft account and you will find Microsoft Own Drive and all the files in it directly in your Chromebook's file system. If you now click on a PowerPoint presentation, for example, you can install the Microsoft Office 365 app on your Chromebook and view and edit Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and many other files on your Chromebook. If you like to work with multiple desktops, you can now right-click on the tray to display your current desktop name. If you then click on the name, you can create and name a new desktop using the plus. Now you can easily switch back and forth between desktops using your tray or close individual desktops. As you saw in my video on the keyboard shortcuts for your Chromebook, you can use ALT in combination with brightness down or brightness up to increase or decrease the brightness of your keyboard backlight. With Chrome OS 129, you can now set the fly, hashtag enable keyboard backlight control in settings, and adjust the brightness of the keyboard backlight in the settings. If you want to know how to activate developer mode on your Chromebook, click on the video on the left. If you want to learn many more tips and tricks for your Chromebook, click on my detailed Chromebook tutorial on the right, and I'll say, thank you for watching and goodbye until the next video.